Okay, uh, I'm going to assume that this is streaming, and um, again, I'm just killing time. I've got maybe 15-20 minutes, so I'm just playing around, so I figured I'd stream this live. So I'm just going to be working here, but if anyone comes in and asks questions, I'll be glad to answer them. But this is just, you know, fun. I'm going to be taking some 2D logos and making them uh, 3D logos uh, with Blender, starting with GIMP here. So. Uh, I've, I've done this sort of stuff before. It's just kind of one of those things I, I do to practice, you know, some of my skills. So uh, here we go. I've got a 2D image of the GNU logo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my color select tool, select all that's black. I'm going to go to select and say to path. And then in our path tab, which is the third tab over here, I'm going to right click and say export path. And then I'm going to choose where I want to export it to. And I'm actually going to create a folder here and I'll call them SVGs and we'll call this GNU.SVG. Save that and then I can open up Blender. There we go. And you can see I'm running Blender 2.77a. Delete the default cube, spacebar, SVG, import SVG. Logos, SVG, and I can choose that SVG. And if you go up here, it's there. It's just really small. So I'm going to make sure it's selected and I'm going to scale it up some. I'm going to hit Control Shift Alt C, Enter, and that will uh, center it on our little uh, cursor there. And at this point, I'm going to go back to the camera view over here to our curves tab. I'm going to say 2D and I'm going to extrude it a little bit. Just like that. If we hit F12, you can see what that looks like. Let's get it some material here. New material. I'm just going to make it black. Hit F12. So there we go. Uh, not perfect. This is just, you know, you can make very simple uh, logos 3D using this technique. Uh, and some work better than others. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a plane. Scale that up. And then I'm also going to go to my Worlds tab and I'm going to turn on Ambient Occlusion, Environment Lighting, and change Add to Multiply under Ambient Occlusion, F12, there we go. Yeah, so this, uh, this one, let's have a look at it from the top here. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and just move that over out of the way for now. And we'll make another logo. Let's go ahead and do one of Tux. Now I got this offline. I don't really want that uh, white, or that, I'm sorry, that white, that circle. So I'm just going to use a circle selection tool here to select Tux. Like so. And I'm going to Control Shift I, or just Control I to invert that selection and delete that. And now I can select everything that's black. You know, probably better to use a higher resolution. This is a very low resolution. But with that select, I'm going to go select to path. And the same thing, we're going to export that path. I'll call it tux.svg. Going back into Blender, space, svg. And I'll choose tux. And again, it's there. It's just really small. The resolution's really small on some of these images here. So I'll make it a little bigger. And yeah, that would look better definitely if it was a higher resolution image. I could have found a higher resolution image. That was the first one I found uh, that was like a solid color, not shaded, saving me a little bit of time there. Center that and we'll make it 2D and extrude it a little bit. Uh, extrude right there. Let's see how that looks. So he's still white. Yeah, that one didn't come out that great because because just the resolution's kind of low. Not horrible though, uh, kind of horrible. <laughs> Let's do, I do have some images here that are a higher resolution. Let's do this Ubuntu one, it's got some color to it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select the transparent background and then Control Shift I to invert that. And then up here I'm gonna choose Selection to Path. There it is, right click and say Export Path, we'll call it Ubuntu or however you wanna pronounce it. Again, SVG, import it. Did I not save that? Did I forget to put the extension? Probably. Export that. Yeah, there it is. So we'll just say ubuntu.svg. And go back 
into that folder and choosing it, scaling it up. Oh, did I, I thought I inverted that selection. It doesn't look like I did. I bet if I extrude this, it's gonna be an inverted, inverted version of what we want. Yeah, so, I mean, that's not horrible if that's the look you're going for. Let's go ahead and make sure that I select invert. I hit control shift I, it's control I. I do that all the time. So selection to path, make sure you choose the right one. Export, and we'll just override the old one. And we're gonna go back in here and we're going to again, import that same thing. Make sure it's selected, scale it up, center it, and we'll extrude it a little bit right there. It's still, it's kind of inverted there. Oh, I didn't pick 2D, there we go. There we go, that's what I'm going for. Now, let's color it. So what I'm gonna do here is, for now, I think an easy way to do this, uh, a few different routes you can go. I'm gonna pull this over. Oh, no, that's not what I wanna do. I keep grabbing the wrong thing, there we go. And we're gonna go image editor, and I'm going to load up an image. So open here, images, I'll open up my Ubuntu image right here. So there we have that image and I can now select the colors from there. So let's go ahead and give this a material, new material. And from here I can click the eyedropper and I can pick like this orange color. And now the whole thing's orange, but we don't want the whole thing orange. I mean, you could, sometimes the Ubuntu logo looks like that. Let's go ahead and tab into edit mode here. And, uh, oh, we're gonna, before we go into edit mode, I'm going to convert this, uh, convert to mesh. Now into edit mode. And there is a key to select all connected. I don't really remember what it is. Let's just select a few. Make sure we're selecting the pieces we want. Oh, that's way more extruded than I wanted. Uh, that's okay. Here we go. Oh, I did accidentally select the back end of one thing over there. That's okay. It's a little uh, confusing when it's the way it split these things. In fact, let's go select all these and I'm going to go W, I'm going to merge all that are connected. That's not right. W, uh, remove duplicates, that's what I want. There we go, remove uh, over 3,000 of those. Now I can select one of these. That's what I meant to do. But actually, before we do that, let's, I can't believe I extruded this much, scale on Z, so scale Z, there we go. That's better. Come back here. So, back to what we were trying to do. Still no one came in. I guess it's not a popular time to do live videos, plus one that's somewhat boring. And I'm going to now pull this out a little bit more. I'm gonna add a material. Really, I should be naming these, but this is just a for fun project. I'm even gonna save this, most likely. Um, but I just create a new material and I'm going to make that yellow, and I'm going to assign that. And then uh, I think I accidentally assigned it to the whole thing. I'm a little rusty on my blender, which is why I'm doing this. I go through phases where I'm, I use blender a lot, and then other times I don't. Oh, you know what I need to do? I add the material down there. I should have added it up here. So there we go, and we're going to assign that. So now if we render that out, you can see we're getting our color there. So I'm going to select all these. New material, new, and select the color I want, orange, and, or sorry, red, and assign it. And there we go, we have our Ubuntu logo. We can bevel the edges if we wanted, that sort of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just Move this one, we'll scale it down a little bit and move it out of the way. What other logos do I have here? The Debian logo, so we got some text in this one. Again, what I can do here is I can select all the white and then invert the selection and then take that selection to path. 
if I wanted the text. Of course, if I can find if I can find this font, which I probably could online, uh, you'd be better off typing out the font than creating a path, and then just using a path for the design here. But I'm doing this so you can see that you could, if you can't find the font for something, you can still make a 3D logo out of it. So um, we're gonna export, and we'll call this Debian dot SVG because it's not going to automatically add that extension for you and you need it. SVG and we'll say Debian. Scale that up. Center it. Make it 2D. Extrude it. F12 to have a look at that. And now let's go ahead and give it a material. We'll give it this material here, which is the black for uh, the wording there. Now you notice how grainy the shadows are. We can up that when we do our final render, if we were to do a final render and make it, but it would slow down our render time. That's why I'm not doing that quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and convert this to a mesh. And we're going to select all, remove duplicates, 15,000. And now we can select all these. There Again, there is a button to select all connected, and I don't remember what that is, so I'm just saying Control Plus, and it's gonna select any uh, vertices around the vertices to check. Now, there's a lot of fine detail, so actually, I'm trying to remember to do this, I don't know why I didn't do this originally. There we go. That, and then I think this, is also box select. Those are the red color. Now again, I could use the, the eyedropper tool to select a red color, but I'm just going to add in my own red. Or I could use the same red as the, the Ubuntu that I already created. So new, I'm just gonna go red up, blue and green down, and now I have, oh, and then of course click assign to the selection. There we go. And if we wanna stay like the other logo, we're going to go again, a to unselect all, B to box select, select these, add new, and I'm just gonna make it a gray color, like that, and assign, and we have our Debian logo. So, we can now grab that and move it out of the way. And now let's go to another one, let's do, let's do a fun one. Now let's do anonymous logo, so, we're going to select all that, and then I'm going to selection to path. I already did this one, started this one earlier. Export, and I'll say A, SVG. Now I'm not gonna do the globe in the background just yet. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. I could do it all and then connect it and do it different colors, but it kind of overlaps the other rest of the image, so I'm gonna do them separately. Let's go ahead and import that. Center it, 2D, extrude. That's way too much. Extrude, I couldn't tell because I had a depth perception off, whatever you call it. So we have that. Let's go ahead and just assign that a black color. We'll just use one of the blacks we've already created. Now let's see what happens if we now try to select this this gray globe. Now let's uh, take this and scale the image up. Let's make it a thousand by a thousand, so a little larger than double what it currently is. And that might allow us to threshold. Let's see. Why is it selecting? There we go. Looks like it selected it good. To path, file, export. We'll call this a2.svg. And I'm going to then import that. This will be the last one I do. No one's joining this live video. And I'm gonna scale this up. And then I guess I can just align it manually. Not that hard to do, right? Well, let's uh, center it. That might make it a little bit easier. And technically, I could center it 
on the other logo. Scale. Crap. Something like that. That's not perfect, but I'm not going for perfection here. Let's extrude it just a little. Look at that from the side. Extrude it down a little. If I F12 now, there it is. And of course, like I said, we can turn our resolution up and under lighting here for the world samples, I can turn this up to like 25 and that will smooth out our shadows a little bit. And here we go. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, I was just about to finish this live chat, just every live video as someone came in. This was just kind of a, you know, me playing around, uh, Morgan. Uh, so thanks for joining. Sorry, I'm going to leave just as you got here. Uh, but basically, what I was doing was taking uh, 2D logos and turning them to 3D logos uh, with GIMP and Blender. And you're about to see uh, our final product here of just a few of them. Uh, so. Uh, no, I was using a, a GIMP and, and uh, Blender 3D, um, although I was using SVGs, which I'm not familiar with Inkscape very much, but it's all working with vectors, so SVGs would work in there. Um, as you can see, I did a few different logos. My tux was kind of low resolution, so he didn't come out that great. Uh, but I go through, you know, taking the 2D images, extruding them in Blender, and setting textures to them and, and changing the lighting a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm still just playing around with live videos, so, oh, somebody else showed up. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm, oh, there's seven people watching, actually. I didn't realize there were seven people watching according to this. Um, so yeah, uh, this was just kind of, again, I'm getting used to doing live videos, so I was just doing something short. I had a, you know, 20 minutes to kill, so I thought I'd do these. Uh, if you guys want, I can save this Blender file, and I'll put it up on, uh, on GitHub so you guys can download it if you want. Um, yeah, so, sorry, now, now that people are starting to chat, I'm leaving. I apologize for that. I got some stuff to do this evening. Uh, but I'll be doing more live videos uh, as time goes on, and once I get more comfortable with them, I'll schedule them uh, when I have time so that I can let people know ahead of time when I'm going to do a live video. But I thank everyone who was here watching for watching, and... Um, I'll, I'll upload this stuff to GitHub and give you guys a link in the description of this video in just a little bit. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.